hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys what i did with this skirt i got this skirt from my mother-in-law and i decided to make a dress from it for my daughter i first went ahead and i measured out how i was going to be sectioning the pieces for the dress i measured and i cut the two sections the bottom part will be for the bottom of the dress and the top section I removed the waistband and the zipper so that I could have the full length of the top. I opened it out and I measured out the pieces that I needed. I needed to get a piece for the top front and back and also I needed to get two straps. So I measured them out. Now these are all the pieces that I needed. So I needed five sections, the two pieces for the front, the back, the two straps and the bottom. I then went ahead and I took the top sections, I folded them in half and then I cut out the armholes. Then I stitched them on the wrong side and I did both of them. Then I went ahead and I placed right sides facing to each other then i gave them a flat stitch now the flat stitch will be done on the wrong side so you just place right sides together give them a flat stitch going down and i did it to both sections so this is what they looked like then i turned them over to let them lay flat at this point, I just wanted to poke out the edges, especially for the top, because I'm gonna go on ahead and flat stitch. So I flat stitch the bottom and also around the top edges, going right around, just to help it to lay flat better. So when I am ironing, it will be very smooth and nice. So this is what it looks like. At this point, I took the bottom section and I made a one inch fold over on the wrong side. I wanted to make two different rows of stitching so that I could pass my elastic through. So I did one and two. I then went ahead and I made another one on the top because I needed to have a little guide at the top for when I am adding my top and bottom piece together and that will create the space for the second row of elastic. This is the elastic I use, quarter inch and a pin and I pushed it through. So once the top stitch is done, this is what it looks like. So you see the two rows of elastic and I still have that quarter inch at the top for when I'm adding on the top and the bottom pieces together. So I then went ahead and I added the two pieces together. So I placed right sides together and remember the elastic is already in so you're just going to be measuring the get the measure for both side pieces and you add them at the seam so the elastic will stretch a little bit but once it's done i i also went ahead and i put some elastic at the side just to control it a little bit better because my daughter is a bit small so i just did a little stitch there and on the wrong side i took one part of the fabric and i made a little incision so i could pass my elastic through quarter inch again and i pass it through there and this is what it looks like so it gathers up a bit and i have a little bit more control underneath the arm at this point i went ahead and i did the straps now i fold them on to the wrong side i fold them in half and i stitch both bottom and the side pieces i made a little incision to open them out turn them on the wrong side flat stitch and then i added my button hole i did have to adjust them however because they were a little bit long however at this point you're just gonna add them to the top of the dress so you add the back pieces first and that's the part that does not have the button holes so after stitching those down you'd put your buttons on and then flip it over so that it will be able to close so I stitched them on and then I added these buttons and it really did make it look really nice so this is what the finished product looked like now you guys can let me know what you think about this quick and easy video this is really really cute if you guys have 
clothes that you're not using up, you can make some really cute pieces out of them for your kids. Now, do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next video. Guys, do not forget to check me out over on um, Being Me TV. Also, do not forget to keep your post notifications on so every time I put out a new video, you guys will be notified. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.